Hi, this is PC WizKid here with my debut video, how to get free antivirus software. And this is the Windows XP version of how to get free antivirus software for your computer. It's a little bit different than Windows 7, so I thought I'd go through it on the Windows XP operating system for you as well. Let me start by answering a few questions that you probably already have. Uh, first one being, is the software really free? The answer is yes. Uh, we'll be using free antivirus software provided by Microsoft. Uh, it's just as good as Norton or McAfee in my experience. It has successfully detected and removed threats from my system. I've been using it for about two years without any major problems. This video is great for you if you just bought a new computer about a month ago because you probably already have antivirus software but it's probably outdated and they're probably wanting about fifty dollars for you to renew your subscription to keep getting updates as if your antivirus software is not updated it's no good uh... it's pretty much worthless after a few weeks of it not being updated this will be a three-step process the first step is to remove or uninstall any existing antivirus software that you may have installed such as uh... Norton Antivirus, Norton 360, Norton Internet Security, any of the Norton products uh, usually will have an antivirus component to them. Uh, or if you have McAfee Antivirus, uh, or McAfee, however you want to pronounce it, um, there's uh, several other different types of software from different um, manufacturers, but the main thing is that you need to remove any existing software before we can install the free antivirus software. Step two is going to be downloading the Microsoft Security Essentials antivirus software. It's completely free of charge, provided by Microsoft. And step three is uh, to install the Microsoft Security Essentials software. Okay, so the first step is to remove any existing antivirus software from your system. And to do that, you want to click the start bar then click on the control panel and there's two different views in Windows XP this is the default view it has a category view there's add remove programs right here personally I like the classic view uh, and you can get to that by clicking on this you may already be in this view and this would be what it look would be what it would look like uh, if you are in classic view uh, and it's located here under add remove programs you could just double click that so we're gonna click on the antivirus software that we already have installed and click change slash remove it'll give us uh, the option to uninstall the software here you can click uninstall we'll go ahead and remove the software not all of them are going to be the same not all of them may see, say completed, but it should either say completed and you can close it, or the button should say finish. And once you've removed that software, you're done with the first step. And for the second step, uh, we want to download the Microsoft Security Essentials software. Uh, so you can open up your internet browser. And you can go to uh, any search engine, uh, MSN, Bing, or Google, doesn't matter which one. Uh, and go ahead and type in Microsoft Security Essentials and perform your search and it should be taking you to um, the Microsoft Security Essentials website you'll see right here uh, Microsoft.com slash Security Essentials right there um, you can go ahead and click the link you can go ahead and click the download now button it'll give you an option for your language and an option for your operating system. If you are running on Windows XP, uh, you want to click on that link right there. You'll commonly get this information bar whenever you try to download a file. Uh, this sometimes confuses people. If you have already gotten this before, uh, you probably already checked this box and hit OK. So when you click the download link, you just get a bar up top here. Uh, and this is telling you that uh, it has blocked the file from being downloaded to protect you. Uh, but we actually do want to download this file. So you can click on that bar and select download file. And usually when you do that, uh, it will 
reset your internet connection with that specific file, so you have to start all over again. Click download again, click Windows XP, and now that you've given it permission to download the file, it will actually work this time. Uh, you can go ahead and click save and choose where you want to save the file. You can save it wherever you want. Uh, you could save it in My Documents or uh, where it on the desktop is fine. That way it's easy for you to find it. Just make sure you know where you saved it so that you can navigate to it uh, to go ahead and open up the file. Okay, step two is complete. And now that step two is complete, we want to go ahead and install the software. Uh, the file name is mseinstall.exe. Uh, the icon looks like this. You can go ahead and double click on it. That will start the installation process. Uh, you will probably get a security warning asking if you really want to open this file. It knows that it's a program that you've downloaded and you have to give it security clearance to go ahead and install the program. You can click the run button and you'll get the Microsoft Security Essentials installation wizard. Uh, you can go ahead and click the next button. It will give you the software uh, license agreement. Uh, this is standard. All programs have this when you go to install them. Uh, you can read through that if you choose to. Uh, when you're done, you can click the accept button. Uh, it will prompt you uh, to see if you want to join the customer experience improvement program. Uh, this will send anonymous statistics to Microsoft so that they can uh, improve on the software. Uh, it's the least we can do since they're giving us the software for free and it's going to make this free software even better in the future. So uh, I encourage you to join that and click Next. Uh, next you'll be prompted to optimize your security by enabling the firewall. Windows has a built-in firewall. There's no reason not to have this turned on unless you're having connectivity issues between uh, you know, between your computer and another computer on your local network or something uh, like that, etc. Uh, like I said, there's no reason not to turn it on, so I do recommend that you leave it turned on. Uh, leave this box checked to have it turned on and click the next button. And now it's determined that it's ready to install the software. If you have any other antivirus software on your computer, uh, there may be a conflict with the uh, Security Essentials software. So this is telling you that you should remove it, uh, but we already did that in step one. So you can go ahead and click uh, Install. If you have not done it, there is a link here uh, that gives you more information on how to do that. Uh, if what I showed you in step one was not sufficient, you can click on that link. Uh, it'll give you more information. We can go ahead and click the Install button. And once it has completed the installation, you'll get a screen letting you know. And it has an option here to scan the computer for potential threats uh, after getting the latest updates. I do recommend that you do that. Uh, chances are that you either haven't had any protection prior to this or you had outdated protection. Uh, and it's a good idea to get scanned as soon as you have the software ready, uh, just in case there are any uh, undesirable files still on your PC. So you can go ahead and click Finish and it will automatically update and after that it will go ahead and scan your computer so uh, you're all finished and this will conclude our how to get free antivirus software video thank you for watching this is PC WizKid signing off